Hello, everybody. Welcome to Motivated Entrepreneurs. I'm your host, Dean. It is Thursday morning. It is episode 261. Like I've said last week, I love bloody Thursdays. Thursdays are absolutely awesome. It seems to me like uh, it's kind of a weekend. I don't know why. I just feel like it's fantastic Thursday. Okay, 12th of November. I don't know if I've said that already, but guess what? It's the 12th of November. Today is a very, very important lesson and that I've learned myself and I've learned from... Oh, it just... Well, I've, I've learned it, but never really realized that I've actually learned this. So to change, you need pain. I need pain. That's how we change. We only change when there's pain. For example, you'll go to the doctor. I remember um, my dad's had a heart bypass and my, my uncle has, and my other uncle has had stents. And so I had to go for a blood test and to see how many, see what my blood was like, et cetera. And it, it it wasn't it wasn't great, and they told me that I'd have to be on is it beta blockers or something uh, something like that for the rest of my life. And I'm like, no 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 whoa 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 whoa! I promise I can change. I can promise I can change. I can eat healthy. And the pain, the scared, the scarce. The, I was so scared about having a heart bypass or anything that I literally I literally ate lettuce and I, I didn't eat anything else. It was just it was lettuce. It was it was literally it, it was all everything good. It, there was nothing bad for three months. I lost loads of weight and I went back there and it was fine. My my blood test was absolutely fine. I didn't need to go on it. Obviously, I couldn't sustain that. It was impossible. However, and but what, what made me change? What made me change my diet? I was scared. There was a pain there because I needed to change. Otherwise, I would have to be on these tablets for the rest of my life. I didn't want to be on these tablets for the rest of my life. And I certainly didn't want a heart bypass. And so they, the pain and the fear made me change. Now, how many times have you changed when you've been dumped or you've broke up a relationship? The pain is there. What happens? You get to the gym. You are the best version of yourself. Why? Because there's pain there. If you aren't changing, then there's not enough pain yet. And so I see this with my friends all the time and myself, all the people around me. And they say that they want this, and my aim is this, da, da, da. and they keep talking to me about what they want, what they want, what they're going to do, what they're going to do. And I simply said to one person over there, I said, do you, do you know why you haven't done any of this? Do you know why because I'm going to do this? I'm going to do that. Do you know why you haven't yet? It's because there's not enough pain. Oh, yes, there is. I'm in loads of pain. You're not in enough pain. If you aren't changing, if you aren't moving to something, some goal that you've set, something that you want to do, something that you want to achieve, the reason is because you're not in enough pain yet. I know that I am, without doubt, the best business owner Dean can possibly be when I'm short of money. When my bank account is getting, guess what? I'm in pain. I'm hurting. I'm dreading the next invoice coming in. And so what am I? I am the most productive business owner ever because I want, I've got pain. I need to earn money. And so if you want to change, then you need to be aware of this fact. And I'm sure that you you can think back to your life now and you can think, well, ah, oh, yeah, there's, I got, I got healthier when I got dumped. I was the best version of myself. And what happens? We get too comfortable again. We get in a relationship and we get too comfortable. Then we get dumped again. Or then, uh, why are you talking about myself? Actually, I don't think I have actually been dumped. Yes. And so we actually get too comfortable and then we split with our partner and then we get healthy again. And then guess what? We get happy and fat or lethargic, or overweight, or just not the same. And so we are only propelled to change when we have enough pain in our life. And so what I want you to do, what I want you to do now is to realize that change only happens when you're fearful or there's pain in your life. And when you realize that, then you can manipulate it to work for yourself. You can change that to make sure that you don't need the pain, that you don't need to fear something, that you can just think, do you know what? Yes, if this happened, if like, for example, I, yeah, <laughs> do you know what? All I think about, right, if, if I'm, if I, <laughs> I can't believe I'm going to share this. Oh my God. And I've only just realized the football. Ah, yeah, I do think this. Okay. So if I'm not feeling motivated to go to the gym, right? My wife is stunningly good looking. She's a much better version. She's, she's better looking than I am. Everybody in the street when they walk past is like, he's done all right. He's done all right there. And and so what I do is when I don't, can't be asked to go to the gym, when I can't be asked for that one last rep, I just think, do you know what? I can imagine if me and Claire broke up, that she would be going out with this hunky guy with massive muscles. And then all of a sudden I'm like, oh, oh come on then. And I pull out another rep or whatever. I get to the to the gym. And so you don't have to go through it to feel it. You can imagine it. You can imagine the fear. So if you're not very productive at work, if you 
lose your job or whatever, just imagine what that would be like. And I promise you, just that imagination, just that thought process of going through that fear, going through that pain is enough to change you. It's enough to motivate you and it's enough to drive you, to push you towards your goal, towards whatever it is you want to change yourself. Just imagine, imagine what if, and I promise you, that is a game changer. And I can't believe nobody tell my wife, she think I'm bloody weird already. But uh, I'd give you one, one quick story. Um, we was in hospital and we had an ectopic pregnancy. We didn't know she was pregnant, et cetera. And this was maybe uh, two, two years ago. And I came, <laughs> I came in to the nurse's studio and I said, because uh, you had to go through this, you had to go through, you had to, you know, uh, press this buzzer thing to get in. And so I pressed the buzzer, came in. I went to the, to the thing and I said, oh, I'm here to see Claire. And uh, she goes, oh, yes, yes, yes. Your daughter's this way. <laughs> I was like, oh, she thinks I'm a daughter. Oh, my daughter. Oh, she thinks she's my daughter. I then even tell her that I'm a husband. And it was just, it was crippling. And then two weeks later, and I don't even know why I'm telling you, this has got nothing to do with bloody podcasting. Shut up sometimes. Two weeks later, um, I was I was shopping with my mum. Yes, I was shopping with my mum. And somebody in the shop thought that we were a couple. I mean, come on, come on. I don't look that old. I mean, that just, ah, uh, that was pain. That was, that was, that was pain. That made me change. I looked at myself about, right, you're getting a haircut. I, I even nearly dyed my hair. <laughs> that was, I wanted to change. I needed to change because I was in pain. That was, that's real pain, my friends. Somebody thought that I was, I was my wife's dad. And then somebody thought that my mum was my partner, my wife. Come on, that's kicking a man. That is really painful. That's kicking a man. Okay, tomorrow uh, we're talking about the next version of yourself, Thoughtful Friday, and I will see you there, my friends. I love you, I appreciate you, and I will see you tomorrow. Please nobody tell anybody of the stories I've just shared on this podcast because it is embarrassing. And if you know me personally, never, ever, ever bring anything in like this up I've shared today because it's just, it, it's it's too embarrassing. I go red at the best of times and you just make me go red <laughs> and crawl away and just cry. <laughs> All right, dudes, dudes, I'll speak to you later. Bye-bye.